So I'm just waiting for Tony to return. There we go. Okay. Happy Saturday. Really appreciate you being here. If you are a first time viewer of Go Small, Live Large, first time viewer friend, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large. And if you are a long time viewer friend, thank you. To all folks attending today, we have a super exclusive special live stream from three different places on planet Earth. One is me, I'm coming at you from Florida. We have Wingham CEO uh, Lorena Turi coming at you from Verona, Italy. And we've got Tony Diamond coming at you of Wingham USA coming at you from Nashville. So I'm going to have just a few words. We're going to bring them in. They're just getting settled. So uh, this is so great. I uh, just appreciate you being here today. Um, if you can let us know where you're watching from, that certainly helps us. We've got a really growing fastly growing group in here. This is great. Uh, yeah, just let us know where you're watching from. That is always of interest to me. And uh, that's so so great. So we're gonna do the introductions. And then uh, we're gonna have Lorena give us a tour of the US bound OAC 540.1. We actually she went overdrive. We got three models to show you today. And we got a bunch of the most popular questions. We're going to answer those. You're going to love some of the answers. And then Tony's got some special announcements and there's a special surprise at the end. So you don't want to miss a single minute of this video. With that, I think everybody's standing by. Let's say hi to Lorena and Tony. Howdy, folks. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Scott. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good so morning Lorena... Yeah. Yes. Say a few words for the folks. we got a giant group in here already. This is great. Yes. Um, and good morning to all our U.S. customers, U.S. Uh, enthusiasts uh, connected with us today. I'm very grateful, glad and grateful to uh, have the opportunity to show you our OASI 540 U.S. version today. Yes. Thank you so much. You betcha. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that. And Tony, there you are, you handsome devil. Thank you, Scott, for putting this on. Uh, thank you, Lorena, as well, for uh, being here to uh, talk about the long-awaited U.S. So AC 540.1, it's a privilege to be here, and I can't wait to get into the U.S. models. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty special. It's it's a uh, you know great things take time, and I think you're going to be very pleased with what you see and hear today. Whether you're a reservation holder or you're still kind of a Wingham curious, or me like a Wingham enthusiast, it's a pretty big thing. And I just thank you, Tony and, and Lorraine, for your trust and support and and partnership over these years as we've uh, rolled out these vehicles over time. And it's just it's great to be here. So um, with that, Lorena, let's. Um, have you give yeah. us a tour of the exterior so i'm going to go full screen for uh lorena we've done our best ladies and gentlemen to make sure we don't have any technical issues um so everybody say a prayer for the, <laughs> the technical gods i appreciate that lorena you have yeah full screen okay. and sh show us the uh your the, uh, the oasis please okay yes thank you scott so um i'm very happy today because i have the possibility to show you our oasis 540 us version i have three different uh, vehicles three different units on the ram pro master and uh, in three different outfits from the graphics outside to the interiors so i'll be able to show you all the references from our capsule collection so let's start with the first one. We have a, a walk around from outside to inside the vehicle. All the US models will come on Ram Promaster chassis cab base, uh, which is a 3.5 liters automatic transmissions, alloy wheels, 16 inches, and a navigation system with 10 inches screen and reversing camera connected as well. Um, all the vehicles will come with this special safety block system from Wingham, which is a very special centralized system, a centralized locking system. So now it's all closed. And by using the only 
um, RAM Pro Master Key, you can lock all doors and unlock all external doors. As you can see, we have our monocoque cabin in fiberglass and uh, all the external doors are in fiberglass as well. Flash finishing without frames, very automotive design, thanks to our hidden hinges patented as well. This one is a large locker for two bottles, for two gas bottles, two large gas bottles. Then at the back, if we move at the back of the vehicle, we have this impressive locker behind the bumper where you can store your chairs, table, and even a second cassette for the toilet. Nice. Yes. If we move on the left side of the vehicle, we have the uh, uh, toilet, the cassette, and then a very clever locker which is accessible from outside and inside as well. So you can store your groceries from outside and then you can take them off from the inside of the RV. On the same side, we can see the uh, drains, fresh water tank drain and uh, wastewater tank drains. The city water connection, the electricity outlet um, all vehicles will be delivered with the hose and uh, a hose holder as well. So we'll fit an hose holder at the right of the screen with the hose inside for all vehicles. So now we can enter the vehicle. I'm glad to show you our entry door, which is a very solid one with handle with the Hidden inches with uh, yes, please. L Lorena, um, yes, have Stefan kind of zoom in, please. Come close to the hinge and just kind of explain that hinge because this is something yeah. that's very unique, sure. right? Yes, right. Thank uh, you. in 2010, we decided that uh, a monocoque cabin was not enough for us uh, because at that time we had the monocoque cabin, but then all external doors and entry door were in aluminum, the standard aluminum doors, which uh, every manufacturer is fitting on the vehicle. At that time, we decided that we wanted to have them all in fiberglass with a special design, an automotive design, flush fitting without any frame outside, without these bad hinges that you can see from outside. So we developed these special hinges, which is uh, laminated inside the uh, monocoque cabin and inside the door. So it opened completely. And when you close the door, you can't see anything. It is this yes, flush beautiful. finishing, which we like actually, yes. Thank you for that. No, thank you. <laughs> and yes, we have an electric step at the entry door and the handle which helps you enter the vehicle. When you, um, we, you open the entry door, we have two lights which uh, turn on automatically, this blue light underneath the step and another light at the left side of the door. So these two lights illuminate these areas and allows you to enter without any problem. <clears throat> So you know this is our ultra compact vehicle so you can drive and park like a car actually but then inside it is just surprisingly the space we have inside large corridor large kitchen dinette everything is really very special inside this tiny vehicle so we have at this side the kitchen block which is a really huge kitchen block with a large working surface large drawers with self-closing system, cabinets, 
the refrigerator, which is uh, in the B refrigerator. And then, yes, this large surface, working surface, flush, finishing, uh, fitting um, sink in Creon, which is a very uh, um, special resin with a very special smooth um, finishing, which I like very much. <laughs> then the uh, cooker, which is a gas cooker, in this case, Suburban, from Suburban. We completed the kitchen with this, with this backsplash um, wall with a lot of uh, storage area as well. So plenty of space all over. And Lorena, then yes, please. Tony. Can you have Stefan kind of move in so we can see that those closer, like the uh, backsplash? Uh, yeah. Is it better now? Yeah, well, yeah, so I'll get is, closer. Yeah, so we can uh, see a little more detail. Yeah, that's perfect. Great. Good job. Yeah. Thank you, Stefan. <laughs> this is, uh, uh, yes, a backsplash, a retro illuminated, very elegant, with a lot of um, storage areas as well. And then, then the cupboards, large cupboards as well. Yeah, All beautiful. perfectly finished, yes. Wow, so a large corridor illuminated as well. And then at the other side, we have this large dinette, which is impressive. The largest dinette we have on all our models in the smallest one, inside the smallest one. This dinette turns into a single bed, just removing the backrests. And you have a single bed of 75 inches long and 27.5 inches wide. This dinette turns or convert into a double bed as well by pulling down the table and adding over there a small mattress. We can show you now how it becomes uh, a double bed. Okay. That would be great. Oh, it's good to have staff. It's going, it's going to be staff, yes, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of questions coming in. We're going to address most of these, uh, audience. So hang tight. It is very easy. And then comes this small mattress over there. And then you have this double bed downstairs, which is 75 inches long and 38 inches wide. So inside, if you think at the size of the vehicle, it is really impressive. So Thank two double beds actually, yeah. yeah. Okay. And Lorena, you're going to show the yeah. bed next, I think. But uh, if you can point out that the lights above you are different than what people have seen on the model that was here in the U.S. So can you kind of maybe describe that a little bit? Uh, I, I didn't understand, Scott. Sorry, once again. Sorry. Um, the, the lighting above you is the bottom yeah. of the bed. And that's a different lighting system than right. what was in... Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have all LED lights inside the vehicle. And uh, I would like to show you the lighting after because I would show you them from the control panel of Firefly. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the Firefly control panel and we'll turn on and off all the light inside the vehicles. So customers will be able to show, to see all the um, lights we have inside the vehicles. It is really very, very good illuminated. With that, do But <laughs> Okay. I'm working yes. on my Italian. So then now, in, okay. So now our patented drop down bed or folding bed, it comes down this way manually, very easily. A huge double bed, which is 77.5 inches long and 53 inches wide. As you can see, you can leave all beddings over there. There is space enough to leave them all over there. So we call it our always ready bed inside these small vehicles with a lot of cupboards at the side from the bed. You can still access the cupboards. At the front, you have two um, uh, storage area as well and really lamps uh, with the uh, USB um, outlet as well. So you can um, load your, uh, charge, your um, um, charge your smartphone in the night. You can read, you can pull all stuffs, night stuffs over there and they are always really few. 
And then these two roof window, uh, the larger roof window for the ventilation of this area, no claustrophobic situation, absolutely. And uh, yes, and then even if the, uh, the bed is lowered, that's over, is lowered in ninth position, I can still sit in the dinette, as, as you can see. I can sit, I can have a breakfast, for example, because I can cook my uh, coffee, I can access the refrigerator, I can even go to the toilet and outside the vehicle. So it is, every area is still accessible, even if the folding bed is in my position, which is a great thing, actually, because sometimes customers says we um, wake up or go to bed at night at different times, so not, not together, and there's this possibility as well. Fantastic. Uh, Lorena, how do people get yeah. into the bed? They use either the seat um, or there's a little ladder there. The, no, right? there's, there's a ladder which okay. comes here on this. I, I don't have it now, but I can That's show fine. you it if you like. But anyway, uh, just an aluminum ladder which helps you uh, climb to climb up to, to, to the bed. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So then in the morning, you can just pull it up. That's it. It's spectacular. Um, yes. A lot of space all over. Thank to our patented double bed, actually. That's the, 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 the reason why we have this uh, plenty of space inside, because we don't have uh, two beds downstairs. We have this folding bed down, uh, over, and this is why we, have, we can um, use um, all the space we have downstairs. Um, we, we, I would show you the... Wow. Yeah, one, one moment, Lorena. So we're yeah. getting a lot of questions. A lot of these will be answered here um, in just a few minutes when we do the Q&A. But we want to kind of get through the tour. We are talking about the bed, Lorena. Um, a number of folks have asked what the weight limit is in the bed. Any idea on pounds oh, or yes. even kilograms? No, no, no. It, is, it is patented and it is uh, uh, officially, uh, it is uh, 350 kilos. I don't know in pounds. Which, which is uh, about uh, 770 three. pounds. Okay, thank you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to me with measurements because <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I can't keep them in mind. Anyway, yes, no problems uh, with the drop down bed. Definitely no problems. No. You're doing great. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, my favorite room in any motorhome is the bathroom. Let's see the bathroom. Yes, let's see the bathroom. Yes. Um, we have the, um, uh, the wardrobe at the back huge one and space downstairs as well and then uh, the bathroom which is really impressive right so the shower angle a uh, very nice one and then a lot of cap cap cabinets uh, and uh, a large sink in uh, in korean as well uh, very elegant and lot of space outlet and um, in, inside the bathroom as well, and uh, a, a ceramic ceramic uh, VC as well. It's beautiful. So can I ask, Stefano, can you, um, Lorena, yeah. can we um, zoom in a little bit on the walls so we can see the beautiful texture on the walls and open up the yes. upper cabinets and the lower cabinets? Thank if you want to describe it, Lorena, what we're looking at as far as the texture yes. of the this one, yes, I'm going to enter the toilet. So it is a very large toilet and we are covering all the walls with this special uh, materials, with this, which is a special materials dedicated to the bathroom. And uh, it, you, you can uh, um, even, um, um, if it comes dirty, for example, there's no problem because it is easy to, uh, to clean and uh, absolutely um, suitable for bathroom, especially, yeah. And then the sink, which is a huge one, the yeah. cabinets, downstairs, and at the back of the right. And Lorraine, Brandy, can I just point out that yeah. um, on the, uh, if you can open those cabinets up again. Yes. Thank you. Um, this is just a little touch. When I stayed the night in the OAC, um, it was these little touches to me that made a big difference. So if you look at the edge of the shelf, there's like a little bit of blockage. So when you open your cabinets after been traveling, it doesn't all spill out. That's, 
I've yeah. only seen this right. in, in, in an Oasis in Wingham. So good job on that. That's really yeah. cool. Really cool. That's very important. <laughs> attention to details. Thank you, Scott. Thank You're you. welcome. <laughs> yes, attention to the details. Yes, try our best. This is our everyday job, actually. Yeah. Uh, so well, as I said, uh, we uh, already fitted the air conditioning as well, which is a 12 volt air conditioning from Ingleby. It is a nice one and uh, uh, it has light, it is lighted as well. And it comes instead of the um, roof, roof window. Um, then I'm pleased to, um, to talk about this uh, electric system from Firefly, which is a very innovative and advanced uh, el electrical system we fit it on the vehicle on the US version of um, vehicles um, which is um, we, we have here the control panel over the entry door uh, from the home page of the control panel we can have an overview of the situation of all devices inside the vehicle so for example the uh, fresh water tank and gray water tank level the um, temperature inside and outside the vehicle the charge of the battery is both the um, um, RAM ProMaster battery and service battery as well. Then if we touch this, we can have the situation, the, 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 situation, the um, working of the uh, solar panel. So you can control the solar panel and the status of the uh, service battery. And even though the history in the past today, how it how and what you charge it in the past days, for example. Then here we can control all the lighting inside the vehicles. So I would turn them off and we'll show you H1. So the sorry. The, the main the main light underneath the bed, then the reading lamp underneath the bed, but over the two front seats, the diner light, the kitchen light, the kitchen wall light. We need light at the kitchen. Then the two reading lights over the drop down bed and the corridor light. Then from the control panel, we can even um, turn on and off the um, lights inside the bathroom. So, for example, bath ceiling and then the shower. Right, and then you can even turn on again because we said uh, when we open the when we enter the main uh, door, we with two lights uh, turn on automatically to help you enter the vehicle in the night. For example, so the step light and this light at the left of, uh, at the left side of the door, but then these both um, lights turn off automatically after some seconds, 30, 30 seconds. In this vehicle, you also have the possibility to turn on this light again, which is very nice. That's great. Nicely done. Right. So then back to the uh, control panel again, we have the light. We have the possibility to check, to control the Truma Combi heater. So from the control panel, you can control all devices inside the vehicle at the moment, except, except the um, air conditioning. But we are working on this item. We are working with Firefly and the Intervi uh, guys. So I suppose we'll be able to offer this possibility later as well. Um, obviously, you can uh, download the uh, Firefly app and... Uh, uh, control everything on your smartphone. Um, I can't. Uh, I can't show you now this 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 app because it doesn't work in Europe. It, it works just in, in the US. So I could. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, That's you know, all sorry. that matters. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, this is a, a very a very good, uh, very clever app from Firefly. 
and from your smart from your smartphone very easily uh, you can you can control uh, all devices inside your vehicles okay so mm, this would be actually the uh, walk around outside and inside this vehicle then i would show you the other outfit if you like or if you have any question um, we're getting lots of questions let's go to the next one because there's I'm, I'm seeing some duplication of yeah, questions so let's see the next one that we'll okay, um, have yeah. pause there and then um and, yeah and i think and, and tony you're probably seeing the questions too so if there's anything there that you want to yes go so ahead. um as i told you i have the possibility to show you all three units us version so uh, pro master based the first one in white and the standard um graphic so this one, this comes as standard, but customers can even show other graphics for the, for the outfit of the vehicle. So the next one is this black edition graphic. Very nice. In this vehicle, with the black edition, we have inside the Dolomiti reference from our capsule collection. Loretta, Loretta can I yes. ask you just a quick question? Um, yes. The front grille, is it going to say RAM or will there be a wing and no. badge on the front grille? <laughs> yes. No. Um, we'll deliver all the vehicles with our badge on the front grille. Um, to, today, I didn't have this possibility because we are working um, on this um on this support, uh, which we need to be able to add our badge. So we have to uh, make a little uh, modify on the uh, RAM ProMaster front grille. So we have to uh, remove the RAM badge, but then we have to fit another support, just like the first one, to be able to, um, to fit our badge as well. Obviously, all vehicles will come with the Wingham badge because I, I like it. So it has to be the Wingham badge any, anyway. Yes. Yes. So um, this one is, uh, as we said, the Black Edition graphic and the uh, Dolomiti interior. Yes. We've got a very okay. large group in here. Thank you for joining us today. Really do appreciate that. Lots of questions. We'll get the questions in a minute. So this is a different color scheme altogether, correct? Yes, this this one. So this Dolomiti uh, interior. So it is a, a natural taste, uh, all in beige, and this light colors wood on the kitchen block and on the table. So um, a natural a natural taste actually. And anyway, the quality of the materials is all, all the same, right? High end materials all over HPL laminates. We don't use melamine or other, uh, just, just HPL laminates. Very nice finishing, Italian products. Um, yes, and this one, as we said, a very natural taste. Okay, so we can have a look at the third one. So again, these are destined for the U.S. These are the three interior and exterior color schemes available. You're doing great, Lorena <laughs> and, and Stefan. Okay. So now, okay. Yes. So the third one, the third one is uh, the um, fashion edition. Uh, Wingham pattern, pattern inside the uh, um, the graphic. Inside this uh, vehicle, we have this metropoli interior. Perché sento la musica io? Non li sento più. Io sento una musica. You're coming through fine. Can you hear me, Scott? Yes, ma'am. Because okay, yeah. So third one with the fashion edition graphic, and 
the uh, metropolis interior. This taste is completely different from all others because it is this black and white interior, very essential and very modern, actually, very bright, very light. Yes. So Stefan can kind of show some of the like the sink yes. area, the backsplash, yes. the cabinets, the couch. Io sento una musica tremenda. Se mi fai vedere bene il lavello, il so the sink. Yeah, it's really pretty. Lorena, can I ask you yeah. um, to talk a little bit about with the Dolomiti, Costiere, and Metropoli, which you're currently in, how they come uh, fully furnished with the pillows, yes, curtains, and the options to getting the plates and the silverware? Right. We have chosen a very special, um, sorry, Scott, because I, can, I hear um, a music. Uh, is there something wrong? No, not no. from my side. Hopefully it's nice music. music. So well the, the in the cap to the capsule collection we have these three different interiors. We went for a very special embroidery. See me, Stefano. Però c'è una musica allucinante. So this special embroidery exclus exclusively for the US market actually. Um, the the, the, the um, references comes with this very special, precious um, rubali curtain, in this case in white and gray, and it comes with this, with this decorative pillow as well. So this would be the uh, uh, reference. Then we offer our ready-to-go ready accessory as well, which means um, uh, plates, uh, cutlery, uh, and all these uh, kitchen accessories, and uh, for example, the um, um, beddings, and we'll, we'll offer many accessories for customers which can uh, get a complete vehicle ready to go, actually, in a very special, um, no, impossible, no. You're doing great. If, if Stefan can show those items a little bit closer, that would be great. Scott, should we take just one second? I think we're having technical difficulties with Lorena's. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have a music in the. Uh, okay. Let's take one sec. Time. Okay. So let us know when you're ready, Lorena. Tony, we're getting a, a lot of questions here. I think you and I can answer some of these. We have a bunch of these teed up for y'all here in just a few minutes. Um, there was one question on, on coming to Canada. You're kind of folks on the U.S. currently, right? That's right. We, we have plans to go to Canada after the U.S. launch is successful. Yeah. Um, I think we talk about this later, but we've had a bunch of questions on this. So uh, induction versus propane. Propane's included, but they can get an induction cooktop? Induction is standard as well. So you can choose between propane or induction. Gotcha. That's perfect. Thank you. Um, a lot of people are really excited. Um, and there's a number of, of comments, Tony. Um, it's just taking longer for these to get here. It's a big, it's a big project. You know, great things take time. Um, any kind of general comment? We're going to have some huge announcements from Tony here in just a few minutes. So if you could just hang tight with us. Um, everybody's been very polite here. Um, I appreciate that. They're coming in from everywhere. I saw Australia think, in here, uh, Canada. Oh, wow. Uh, this is so great. Um, any ideas? So here's a question um, from Endless RVing. Um, do you allow tours of, of their facility in Verona? Uh, we love that area. <laughs> of any idea? Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, that's great. Uh, apparently, Dave knows some um, Italiano, uh, Molti Grazie. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to work on my Italian for sure. Um, we talked about this, Kathmandu, the weight of the bed. You said Tony was a bit. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's I, I believe it's 770 pounds or 730 pounds. It's one or the other. Okay. When Lorena said 330, um, that translates to. 730 pounds, but um, I'm, 
I'm not sure if it's 730 or 770. It's one or the other. We can get back to you guys about that. That's great. Okay. Let's just see if uh, I'll bring Lorena back in. Lorena, yeah. how are we doing? Good now? Um, I think we should it should be better to um, go out just for a second and re-enter and re-enter the connection. Sorry, just a second. We have That's to uh, reconnect. Sorry. Okay. Yes. No Thank worries. You. Yeah. The amazing of power of internet and <laughs> I'm coming from Italy on a Saturday morning. It's pretty cool. Um, Tony, there's a question here. Maybe you can um, address uh, Patty. Are you taking orders or like reservations? We're going to get into the details in a, in a short order, but generally, yes is yeah, the answer. That's, that's my favorite question. Yes, we are taking reservations. That's the first step in the uh, process to purchasing a Wingham. Uh, a reservation is a thousand dollars. It's fully refundable for any reason at any time. And that's how you get in the queue, sort of in the wait uh, to purchasing one. Well done, sir. And um, we're going to talk about options, ladies and gentlemen, but some of these are, are fairly easy to answer, like this one from Shelly. Uh, Tony, options for bathroom sink. I don't want a vessel sink. At this point, some of this is, is set and you're going to get a vessel sink. Is that correct? That's correct. There's no other option for a sink. My answer to that would be perfection is the enemy of good, right? Uh, I'm sure there's a, a thousand other things that you love about the motorhome. If that's the only thing you don't like, hopefully you can look past the vessel sink. Um, and Patty's got a question here on the AC. Um, does the air conditioning work when the vehicle is off grid? So in, in, in battery mode? Um, Certainly. AC? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. And Shelly's got a good question here on the lighting. Are the lights dimmable like we saw in the uh, version in the uh, at the Super Show? Sorry. I believe so. I'd want to get verification from Lorraine about that. And Patty's got a good one here. Are there screens on the windows? There are. So kind of my, maybe I'll demonstrate that here with me. So these are they're, they're cassette windows, meaning they have a, a, a bug screen built in, right? And then they have a privacy screen. Yeah. Yeah. So they're the same on those. And they're actually awning style windows, which flip out this way, which is real nice because you can have in a gentle rain without wind, have the rain come down, your windows open, the bug screen down. It's really, really pleasant. And that's um, uh, true up for the windows and the um, skylight. Well, and skylight. She calls them uh, roof windows, which is kind of cute. Um, and Patty, we can certainly demonstrate that when Lorena comes back. I think that's a yeah. wonderful show. Oh, maybe she's back. Let's see. Let's yeah. see her. Hang tight. I see her now. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Inconvenience. Yeah. Is that better? So the, this one? Yes, that's perfect now. Sorry. Okay, I don't know great. What if you can... Uh, yeah. We would so answer some questions, some pretty easy ones, um, but yeah. very important ones. So... Um, yes, please. Audio is going good. Okay. Um, maybe if... So we had a question. We'd have a conversation around windows. Lorraine, if you can um, kind of show us the window uh, shade and screen, that would be helpful. Yes, uh, we have flash fitting windows outside, so a very, uh, very good design which pairs good with our monocoque cabin. And then all windows come with this double blind and mosquito net as well. Yeah, okay. so okay. Well, thank you. And you can put it on every position you like. Yeah, that's perfect. Right. Thank you. Yeah, well done. <laughs> um, is this uh, Tony and uh, Lorraine? Is this where we wanted? This was the third model, right? So I'm sorry. Yes. Um, do we want to do the questions and answers here at this point? Uh, yes, or on the first one, which is not a Ram Promaster based vehicle, it is an European one, but I have the possibility to show you the first. Uh, reference, the, which could come as standard. This is the Cala Luna reference. If you like, we can have a look at it, and then we can uh, uh, proceed with the with the questions. If you like. Okay. Sure. Okay. And stay to the end, ladies and gentlemen, because we got a really special price or uh, special uh, uh, situation. You want to don't want to miss that. So this is the U of the. Um, European version. This is the European version, but then inside same, same same layout, of course. And I can show you the first 
further references, which is this Kala Luna, a very smooth one, a very light one with this special uh, cotton fabrics. Very, very comfortable and light. And Lorena, this is the standard option, but the right. standard option comes with the, the fabric or leather, correct? Fabric or leather, yes. Uh, some customers uh, prefer the fabric, so this uh, cotton from Italy, uh, very nice one, and or 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 eco leather is the same, and uh, this um, the uh, um, furniture, this reference color reference. And yeah. Lorena, is for the standard model of Kaya Luna that you're standing in, uh, yeah. are there other options for the cabinetry? Uh, yes, as well. So we have prepared um, the cabinetry for each uh, for each um, model for for each uh, ca ca reference of the capsule collection. And so, so if people wanted to get all white cabinets, they can. Or if they wanted to get, for example, a combination of white and wood grain, they can. Or all wood grain. No, that would be the uh, the other option, the other uh, models, because uh, we are using here another kind of uh, uh, material. This this is this which, which comes standard is uh, always HPL laminate, but this is not as smooth, as nice, as rich, precious as the other one. But it, so but you can case, get it in white. You you can have it in beige or in white, right? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So if if you like, we can we can proceed with the question inside here, or do you prefer another another vehicle, as you like? Yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the U.S. model for the question. To the U.S. Yeah. model, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> allora torniamo sempre di campioni. And Lorena, while you're walking back to the U.S. model, can you talk yes. about can you talk about how the U.S. models are still four season vehicles and how the tanks are heated and protected? Yes, of course, our, all our models are all um, four season models uh, because the uh, monocoque cabin grant a very good insulation as well as all external lockers, which are in fiberglass as well, all external door in fiberglass and the heated floor. We don't have any piece of uh, um, metal in the structure, so we don't have any uh, thermal breach. So all vehicles are super insulated and we also have a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank heated and protected. So um, customers can do winter camping without any problems. Excellent. This is perfect. All right. All right. So again, we've got quite a few questions in the live stream. Um, some people are being a little impolite, so I've had to remove a few folks. Um, we want to be very positive here. Again, great things take time. These are the units that are coming to the U.S. So this isn't va vaporware, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and we want to get into some of these details. So um, we're going to go through a couple of uh, a few categories, if you will. I'm looking at my iPad down below me. So the first ones we're going to talk about is where um, can they see these, the buying process, service. Um, Lorena, what is the expected uh, current arrival date in America for the U.S.? Uh, OAC 540. Yes, we have this first three units. It took it took time. I want to explain our customers as well. It took time. It's been a long path because we had to we, we had to face many many um, um, difficulties or any way to um, uh, to update all the vehicles. We which obviously has to be certified and has to be U.S. standard. So it, it took time actually. I know we know uh, we're sorry about this, but anyway, um, we uh, wanted to have the vehicle ready for the market uh, to be uh, marketed. So, um, so while well, we're ready now, we have this first three units ready for delivery, as you have seen, and then we are receiving the next the next Ram Promaster chassis cab in November. So we are going to produce them in December and deliver them in January, I suppose. Then we are receiving. Uh, plenty of ProMaster chassis in different batches throughout the year uh, 20, 2025 and will deliver the vehicles then uh, in three, four batches in 2025 as well. So we're starting definitely uh, in 2025. Perfect. Um, Tony, this one's for you. This has been a, a 
a popular question too. Uh, what is the current base price MSRP? And maybe you can kind of give us a time, uh, 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 you know, uh, loaded or how, how does that work out? Sure, yes. That. Thank you, Scott, for the question. The MSRP is 188,500, uh, but we describe the starting MSRP as, as mostly loaded because as Lorena just showed, in the interior of the 540.1, the US 540.1, it comes with leather, it comes with air conditioning, it comes with a 210 watt solar panel on the roof, it comes with radiant heat in the floor. So we would consider the base model to be quite quite nicely fitted. Uh, Lorena, do you wanna talk about the add-on options? Yes, we have. Uh, we can have uh, many add-on options uh, uh, because they, there's a large choice for customers today. Anyway, for example, uh, the uh, tow hitch, for example, bicycle rack, e-bikes rack, or TV or microwave, or there are plenty of uh, accessories. It depends on needs of customers. But anyway, as you said, Tony, the uh, vehicles are really very good equipped. Yeah, and one, one um, just a couple of, of the add-on options I, I'd like to uh, yeah. highlight, if you could, is can you talk about the spare tire, uh, yeah. the lithium-ion batteries, uh, you know, the rest yeah. of the add-on options? Yeah, yes, we uh, we can offer the lithium, lithium battery, for example, which is a, a better battery today, more efficient than the AGM-1. Um, they are very light, very light, and the efficiency is uh, very, very important. So we can offer this for customers. For, uh, for, first of all, customers who don't want to need to go to the camp campsite, uh, they don't want to to be on grid, so they need uh, power. And this uh, lithium battery are very popular, for example, in Europe today. So we are used to to deliver many vehicles with lithium battery. Um, then we uh, can have the um, TV, uh, which comes normally on this wall, so customers can see it from the dinette and from the drop-down bed as well, for example. Uh, microwave, uh, which come on these uh, large kitchen surface, for example. So there are many possibilities, but it depends on customers' needs, obviously. Lorena, then, Lorena, uh, can, you, can you and Stefano just turn the camera real quick and show the two yes. places that the microwave can come in the kitchen? Uh, right, yes. So we can see where we the microwave. So yes, Tony, um, we have this large surface on the kitchen block and we can fit the microwave, for example, here, or, and, and we can fit it here over the of the uh, this surface, or if customers wants to have it included in the kitchen block, we can remove the two drawers and we can fit it fix inside underneath the um, um, the kitchen surface. And Lorena, while you're standing, can you yeah. show the customers one of the other additional add-on options? Is the custom shelving in the closet? Can you show them where yeah. that? Uh, once again, Tony, sorry. The, um, could you also show the customers yeah. where uh, the other additional add-on option that we're actually just announcing today, which is the custom shelves in the closet space? Um, yes. So we uh, we can have the, um, the TV, for example, as we said, which goes on this wall. And while, while fitting the TV on this wall, you can, the customers can see it from the dinette and from the uh, drop-down bed as well. Um, then the, uh, um, we are preparing some ready-to-go accessories with our um, stylist, Cristina Romanello, and we are preparing some special um, um, boxes in felt, actually, uh, so everything can be um, easily uh, put it inside the cupboards and uh, without making any noise because we'll add this special felt inside the cupboards, for example, and inside the drawers as well. And I think, Tony, you were talking there that uh, there's shelving that goes into that wardrobe. Is that right, Lorena? The shelves, yes, we have a, a large wardrobe. So we can, for sure, we can uh, offer the shelves inside the wardrobe. So we can divide this large space in three, uh, in three um, um, uh, storage spaces. And at the same, same for this uh, space downstairs, we are, yes, a lot of customers are asking for a shelf 
yeah, in the middle as well. That's great. And while you're standing, Lorena, can you show everybody yeah. where the outlets and the USB ports are? Yes. So Thank we you. have the, the, the presa di corrente. <clears throat> so we have the uh, two hundred and twenty volt um, outlet here underneath the cupboard. So over the kitchen block. Then uh, we have under this cupboard on the other side we have two USB outlet and a 12 volt outlet as well. Over the uh, over the bed over the drop down bed we said we have these two reading light and on each reading light we also have a USB outlet so you can for example in the night during the night charge your your smartphone for example. And then we have a further outlet inside the restroom as well. So um, we have again two USB outlet and a 12 volt outlet in the restroom as well. Lorena, one yeah. of my one of the one of the things that I love about the 540.1, I'm sure everybody else at home. Uh, would love to see this is can you show the customers how you can turn the dining room table so yeah. what you want to sit in the swivel yes. driver and passenger seat around perfect thank you so much uh, yes of course we have this uh, special system so you can move translate the table at the front at the back or move it at the left or right so you can sit very easily in the dinette and you can adjust it uh, on your needs actually depends on many people are there and we can also turn it right uh, And Stefano, can you okay. switch places with Lorena? So, um, Stefano, can you go to the other side of the motorhome after okay. Lorena shows this? Yeah. So the customers can see how you can swivel the driver and passenger seats. So if you want to eat or work and watch TV at the same time, you can. Yes. So you can turn it. And you can sit at the front, to front, and you can watch TV. And many persons can sit in, on our large diner, actually. And one of the things, Lorraine, I'd love to highlight is that when you're doing, when you're cooking, and you, yes. want, to, you want to talk right. about, thank you. Yes. Um, I wouldn't say it is. Uh, you, you need this uh, working surface inside this Wazy 540 because we have a large surface here, working surface. But anyway, um, by turning the table in this position, you also have a huge working surface for uh, to cook all uh, dishes and every, everything you want. Yes, a lot of space. Yeah, that's beautiful. Right. Yeah, we're getting yeah. lots of... Um questions. We're going to address these folks in just a few minutes. We're trying to get some of this done, but a lot of questions on batteries and, and, and stuff. So hang tight, folks. <laughs> <It's, Okay>. uh, <laughs> Lorraine is doing great. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're doing great. Try, try my best. Have you moved the table back? And then, Tony, I think the next question we want to address is um, have you answered is where can folks see the OAC 540 in person? Um, do we want to go there now? Because there's a lot of folks asking. Of course, absolutely. So the U.S. OAC 540.1 is going to be on display for the very first time. We're excited to announce at the Tampa RV Super Show, the 2025 Tampa RV Super Show from January 15th to January 19th. Uh, we're going to have a beautiful exhibit that is going to be, it's a wonderful location right next to exhibit hall number one and gate number one. And then after the 2025 Tampa RV Super Show, we are gonna have the US models on display to see and test drive at our first two Wingham franchise dealership locations, which we're very excited to announce for the first time today. 
are going to be in Nashville, Tennessee and Salt Lake City. Yeah. Well done. And, and one, thing, one thing I'd like to add to that as well is our Wingham franchise dealership locations will not just be for sales. They will also offer service and we'll have an additional service location in Dallas, Texas. So you folks have been busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, Scott, I'm not done. I'm not uh -oh. done. I'm, and after these initial locations, we will be adding additional locations across the country shortly, that, shortly after lunch. So great. Um, Lorraine, I think this um, question is for you. A lot of folks were asking about um, the warranty on the ProMaster, the wing and build out yeah. and on the monocoque shell. So can you help us understand that please? Uh, yes, of course, with pleasure. Uh, so the vehicles, the Ram ProMaster chassis cab will be covered by Stellantis warranty. And each Ram Dodge um, dealers all over US will be able to service the vehicle, so the uh, engine and chassis as well. So no problem for the uh, chassis cab because it is a Stellantis uh, vehicle. So it will be serviced by every dealer all, of the, uh, all over US. Then, and it is 12 years, 12, 12 months, sorry, 12 months warranty. Then we'll have a 12 months warranties on all devices inside, inside the vehicles uh, covered by the uh, um, manufacturers, for example, the uh, Truma Combi or the Firefly system or um, the Indel B refrigerator or air conditioning. So they are all covered by manufacturers warranty for 12 months. Then we have all the, um, Conver wing and conversion, so to say, so all inside the vehicle, the cabinetry or everything inside will be covered by our warranty directly 12 months as well. And then we'll offer this special 15 years warranty on the monocoque cabin, which is uh, um, um, a super uh, structure without uh, any problems, no water leaks, no water problem. So we are able to give this 15 years warranty on the monocoque cabin. Well, that is not standard in the U.S. RV industry. Not incredible. A 15 it's year warranty great. on the monocoque shell. Yeah, it's yeah. incredible. Um, so there was a question. Can, Go ahead. Can I, I, I see a question. I just want to um, uh, summarize the add-on options uh, that, that don't come standard. Uh, so if the add-on options are uh, upgrading to two lithium-ion batteries, you could do one or you could do two, yeah. a microwave, a tow hitch, the bike rack, which either comes standard or e-bike rack, uh, the um, spare tire, which will come with a Wingham branded uh, um, cover, which and that's mounted on the back of the uh, of the oh, monocoque right. shell. And don't worry, if you wanted to get the spare tire, and the bike rack, you can fit both. One doesn't um, preclude the other. Yeah. And the TV. So those are the add-on options. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, the um, shelves, the upgrading of the shelves and the closets. Yeah. So those are the add-on options. And then in addition to that, uh, as Lorena just um, um, exhibited the three um, capsule collection uh, design. So you have the Costiere, the Metropoli, and the Dolomiti. Those are the three interior design upgrades. And if you wanted to do an exterior upgrade to either the Fashion Edition or the Black Edition, the all yeah. white is what comes standard. Yeah, right. A couple other questions kind of along those lines. Um, tow hitch and towing capacity. Is, is, are those uh, tow hitch part of this? Tow hitch is an add-on option. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's kind of shift a little bit to um, the air conditioner, the Truma Combi, Radiant Heat, um, yeah, yeah. and and we're getting folks to the uh, the solar and the and the lithium battery. Uh, so we beg your patience, please. Just thank you so much for being here. This is great. So maybe just tell us a little bit more on the on the um, air conditioner. Is it one ten volt or is it uh, twelve volt? It is a twelve volt and one hundred and twenty volt um, air conditioning. And it comes from Indel B, which is uh, an Italian company, an Italian manufacturer, but it already so, uh, it is already uh, present in the U.S. Um, all over, and with many um, facilities and many uh, shops as well, and uh, um, workshops as well. So they are able to service 
the U.S. customers without any problems because they are already there. Um, so the same for the refrigerator because we are fitting the uh, refrigerator and air conditioning from Indel B, both, both devices. Truma is obviously, it is a German uh, manufacturer, but it is um, established in, in, in the U.S. as well. So no problem. The Truma Combi heater is a super device, in our opinion, very efficient. We are fitting it as standard from many, many years. And uh, it works perfectly inside our vehicles, which are, which are so good insulated. You don't need actually <laughs> um, a big heater. And uh, it, it is then a matter of uh, consumption. So um, we have a super, super insulation, uh, heated floor, and the Truma Combi uh, 4 works perfectly on, on our vehicles. And then what, what else? What, uh, well, what let's, are you asking let's, about? One thing as we <laughs> talk about temperature control and power that yeah. I just think is is really is really helpful for the customers watching at home to understand is, is that there's that in the RV industry as it stands now, usually battery power is where the conversation about power ends. Uh, where with Wingham, we pick it up with the fact that our living module is made out of fiberglass, which does not conduct heat, unlike all other Class B motor homes made in America, which are made out of cargo vans, which are made out of steel. So when you're in one of those, it's sort of like you're in an oven because steel conducts heat. So right. on a hot day, you're going to use a lot less power to keep yourself comfortable. Also, the monocoque shell is essentially an upside down boat hole. So just like when they make a boat, there's no seams, so, so you don't sink. With the Wingham monocoque shell, there are no seams. So when it's a hot day and you have your yeah. air conditioning on, the, air, the cold air doesn't seep out. And when it's a cold day and you have your heat on, the, the hot air does not seep out. So you're going to use a lot less power between the monocoque Absolutely. shell not conducting heat and the monocoque shell not having seams uh, to keep yeah. yourself comfortable. And then finally is the wing of insulation system. As you notice, right. the mono, did you, I'm sorry, Lebrana, did you want to add something? No, I just wanted to show a sample of our monocoque, of the sandwich, of the monocoque cabin, so your customers can see the materials which is a sandwich. This is a sample of our monocoque cabin. It is um, fiberglass, polyurethane, and fiberglass again. So it is a double shell outside and inside, and in the middle, this super insulating material, which is the polyurethane. Polyurethane is the best insulating material all over. It is the same materials used in the refrigerator, for example. So the uh, um, insulation is really superb. And at the same, uh, we have a sample of the uh, um, heated floor, same uh, materials. So um, a double uh, sheet of fiberglass inside and outside, no wood, just fiberglass and polyurethane. And then uh, you can see the hole. <laughs> we are uh, building uh, channels inside the uh, inside the, the floor, and we are blowing the warm the, um, warm air inside the channels. So you have a heated floor as well, and no more cold feet actually. So it is a very super insulation, absolutely. It's so love it. So I think we got a couple images we want to show um, the folks, Lorena and Tony. Um, we're going to look at the uh, the climate chamber from Truma. So um, this is kind of unique, right? I don't know if any of it, uh, anyway. So this is um, Lorena is a normal size human being, but look at these doors um, that she's standing next to, and there's I the am uh, normal size. <laughs> <laughs> <I know>. Yeah, <laughs> it's like honey, I shrunk Lorena. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so the next image here, uh, Lorena, is the ice on the tire kind of, uh, tell us what we're looking at here. I know you can't see it, but it's the ice ice on the on the tire. Yeah, right. We um, had the possibility, uh, yes, we, uh, as I said, we are fitting Truma uh, heater since many years. I don't know, since 30, 35 years, actually. Uh, we built um, a very good connection, a very good connect a relationship with Truma as well, which is not far from, from us because it is based in Munich, which is about 400 kilometers far away from Verona. Um, so we had the, the opportunity to uh, get this test 
and uh, we wanted to be sure that um, the insulation of our vehicle vehicles is so good as we always say, as we always think, but we wanted to get it certified. So uh, we uh, we went for this test inside the uh, climate uh, climate chamber of Truma last July. Uh, we sent over an OAZ 540 and. Uh, uh, according to the standards, this, um, this test starts to a temperature of minus 15 degrees Celsius inside the chamber. So inside the chamber, we have this minus 15 degrees Celsius and the vehicles enter the chamber with a turned off uh, heater as well. So inside the vehicle, we have, we have approximately the same temperature, minus 15 degrees um, to, um, to, to, to have success with this, with this test, we need to, according to the standards, you need to, uh, to get to a temperature inside the vehicles of plus 20 degrees Celsius in four hours. Uh, so, as I said, the vehicle entered the chamber, the chamber uh, minus 15 degrees Celsius, the uh, trauma technician turns on the heater inside the vehicles and the test starts. I had the privilege to be there, uh, to assist, to be to be there, to 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 take part to this test, and uh, we um, achieved the plus twenty degrees inside the vehicles in three hours and enough. So no problems, absolutely in this case. But to me, the most important thing thing was to enter the vehicle at the end of the test and to verify the. Uh, comfort inside the vehicle because um, the trauma technician explained me some other brands went for the test and they achieved uh, the test. So plus 20 degrees inside the vehicles in four hours. Okay, all good. But then when you enter the vehicle, you don't have any comfort because the heat is not um, widespread inside the vehicles. You have, you have uh, warm in some parts of the vehicles and cold in some other parts. So it was important to me to verify that the, 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 the heat inside the vehicles were, was very uniform and the comfort was very good. And this was very important. We achieved this because of the monocoque cabin, because of the uh, heated floor, absolutely. This was very important. And uh, yes, it was very important. And then no humidity inside the vehicle as well. The trauma technician was very surprised about this, but you know, we uh, cover all the um, walls with this special material, um, which is uh, um, um, supported as well with the five millimeters um, foam. Uh, so absolutely no humidity and a very uh, a great comfort inside the vehicle. This was very important to me. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. We're having some folks in the channel or in the chat um, help us with the um, <laughs> the centigrade versus conversion. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for, for helping us with the conversion. We appreciate that. I do know that in Celsius, zero equals thirty-two degrees freezing. So if you're at minus. minus uh, Minus 15 Celsius. That is way right. below freezing, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh -huh. um, so I've shown Lorraine a couple of the pictures. We we saw the, the the units. Let me go here, folks. Bear with me. So this is the the technicians looking at their scope. This right. photo that folks are seeing is the technician on the exterior of the vehicle. He's he's taking the uh, a thermal reading. Right. And then I'm going to go one more picture. And this is actually what the the his scope was showing. So maybe kind of sh the window's kind of red because that's where there's a little more uh, heat, but the, the rest of the vehicle is very yes. cold looking, I would say. Yeah. Um, so well done. Well, yes, yes. I, I, I was very happy about this, uh, about this test. And uh, as I said, I can, I can send you over some, some other, um, some, um, some, the certificate uh, because the most important thing was to um, to verify for us that the consumption of the Truma Kombi, uh, because they were able to uh, to provide us with a diagram uh, showing the consumption, the gas consumption, and what it is surprising. Yeah, it's I, really I, great. I, I can send it over. 
we love that kind of stuff. We do have some yeah. geeks on Go Small Live Large. So <laughs> we're getting a lot of questions. So let's talk about radiant heat. You showed that example, Lorena. This is really cool. Um, yeah. And this is kind of unusual, right, Tony, in the Class B space, um, the small compact motorhome. So this is what it looks like. There's the Truma Combi. Um, then there's kind of that channeling you were talking about, right, uh, Lorena? Yes. Uh, yes, we have the standard, um, the standard system, Truma, Truma, uh, Truma system. I mean, Truma Combi and the um, uh, the uh, ventilation inside the vehicles, and plus we have this um, heated floor, always um, heated with the with the warm air coming from the Truma Combi. Super awesome. All right, a few more. Thank you for that. That was so. Again, kind of, you know, a lot of the small motorhome manufacturers here have to have really big batteries because the heat seepage or cold, whichever way you're going, you got to have a really big battery system and not necessary with this. So it's a, it's a thermal dynamic of the vehicle itself, the insulation and the battery. So let's kind of shift to uh, talk about electricity, uh, Lorena and Tony, if you can just kind of talk through um, what the power system looks like, um, what do the battery system look like? Is there a second yeah. alternator and solar? If you can kind of help us with that. And I think there's, you mentioned an yeah. option as well. That would be great to understand. Yes, all vehicles, US vehicles are coming as a standard with a solar panel. Uh, so it is for sure a uh, help for the customers or needs uh, electricity and the solar panel keeps your battery charged. The service battery obviously recharge while driving with, with, together with the uh, engine battery. Um, we can offer the lithium battery, as we said. Um, we have now the uh, um, first service battery uh, fitted underneath the, uh, um, the uh, passenger seat. We can add other uh, lithium battery, for example, underneath the uh, driver seat. Uh, you can add them when, when you want, when customer wants from the beginning or after um, after using the vehicles and uh, verifying that they need uh, other um, extra batteries. Um, of course, we can offer a generator, even if uh, it's not that popular, for example, in Europe, I don't know, in the, in the US maybe. Um, in this small vehicle, we could we could fit the generator inside the uh, back um, uh, locker the, uh, at the back of the vehicle, um, so there is space enough to to fit it as well. Well said. And let me. Um, so the does the is there a second alternator on the engine, or is it running off the RAM engine generator to charge the batteries? Uh, yes, we have this booster. Uh, this is a special system of Firefly, which is very efficient. And uh, um, I would, um, I don't know in details, I'm, so, I, I'm sorry, because <laughs> uh, it is brand new to me as well, because uh, just the uh, US vehicles will come with this advanced uh, uh, Firefly system, electric, electrical system. Um, anyway, um, I, uh, I've spoken with the uh, uh, Firefly manager and there will be more than happy to go for a training to, for all our dealers, for all our salesmen, salespeople, and uh, for customers as well. They are um, arranging for many, many trainings all over the U.S., um, all over the U.S. So um, uh, if you like, we can, we can have more details uh, coming from Firefly. That would be great. That's another <laughs> reason to have YouTube Live. <laughs> so, it's so great. And it gets really complex so it's it's and for tony and i uh, lorena we're talking um after our uh practice run uh for a ceo you are so dialed in on this stuff pick <laughs> any other brand bring the ceo in and they'd be like i don't know where the light switch is but let me show you a spreadsheet <laughs> so you're doing a great job it's really and thank you Scott. And english yeah, i know english is not your first uh, language italian probably is but um, yes. you speak four languages, right? <laughs> that's uh, incredible. So that, that's not a great English. Anyway, I tried to do my best, but I think I, I, I love to, to go for a, a, a training, an English training again. <laughs> you're you're yeah. doing beautiful. Um, I'm looking at my questions. Tony, is yeah. there, we've talked about the gray tanks. We've talked about the cooktop. Um, Lorraine was good enough to show us the additional cassette that can go in the, in the rear locker. Um, mm -hmm. Let me just kind of, was there anything standing out here, Tony? Uh, a lot of these are technical things, questions. Um, 
any other thing top of mind with you? Or do you want to talk more about um, you're rolling out more uh, franchise dealers, I think you said, right? Beyond the uh, Nashville and um, yeah. Uh, the, the, like initial, the initial two locations uh, are just at launch, uh, which will be offering sales and service. Like I mentioned, we'll have an additional service center in Dallas, Texas. But then shortly after the launch, we'll be rolling out other franchise dealer locations in the U.S. That's awesome. Um, and I think the, uh, there's, again, a, a lot of great questions in here. So maybe what we can do is is kind of parse these after we uh, end our live stream today and uh, do another Q&A down the road. Um, talk to us ab about the um, Super Show again, and that's probably the best place to see the, the vehicle, and I'll be there, uh, right? Absolutely. And I think that I, I failed to mention when you first asked me that we are thrilled to announce that Lorena and her team is also, they're also going to be at the super show in Tampa to meet everybody. So that's yeah. very exciting. Thank you, Lorena, for coming. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. And, no, and, I'm, I'm thrilled and excited and I will be there. Absolutely. I'm, I'm keen to meet our U.S. customers. I'm keen to, to talk with them, understand what they are thinking, what they their thoughts, uh, their needs, and everything. So yes, I'll be there for sure. And one and one nugget to add to that is that for our reservation holders, we are going to be uh, uh, hosting a VIP event that's going to be at the Hard Rock Hotel. So if anyone's been there before, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino is next to the uh, fairgrounds where the where the Tampa show is held. So the night before the RV show starts, the night of the 14th, this VIP dinner will be held. And um, uh, we, you know, we're just thrilled to, to be able to show our gratitude to all the customers and, and, and have a wonderful event where they can uh, hang out, talk with Lorena and myself and, and meet right. each other. Yes, right. It would be great. Can I have a seat at the table too? <laughs> you, you are going to have you're going to have the second best seat after Lorena. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I appreciate that. So that's a big deal, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just kind of flash this uh, information where you can learn more. And then Lorena, are you ready to give us the uh, the surprise ending here? Yes, of course. Yes. Sure. Okay. Oh, so let me just Scott. Well, one please. thing we were going to talk about too was the um, sort of the the sales process. Oh yes, go ahead, please. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Um, so, you know, our team in the U.S. Uh, are doing everything that we can to really exceed expectations. You know, and it, of course, it starts with the product, which hopefully after everyone's watched this, this live interview, they agree with us that the product uh, is best in class. And we're trying to do the same with the sales process. And so, you know, if, to kind of compare our process, I'll start with talking about sort of the standard traditional RV sales process in the U.S., which is everybody knows when you go to a traditional RV dealership, uh, they are selling many different models by many different brands. So, you know, they're not necessarily uh, experts in anything. They're just knowledgeable about everything. Uh, the next is that you are usually welcomed by a commissioned salesperson, which I think that most people watching at home right now will agree that is not the most pleasant experience. And then finally, Traditional RV dealerships are usually located outside of the city center, right? So it's usually a, a half hour to an hour drive to actually get to a dealership. And so how we're trying to improve upon the existing standard model is by instead of offering um, our models at, at RV dealerships, we are uh, selling our models at Wingham franchise dealerships. And what that means is we are creating these very fashionable boutique locations where we will only focus and specialize on Wingham. So when our customers show up, they will be immersed in the Wingham experience and they will be greeted by a product specialist, not a commissioned salesperson. And then finally, as I mentioned, the, the initial two locations, which are in Nashville, Tennessee and Salt Lake City, Utah, these locations are in the city center. So we are literally minutes from the downtown area. So we feel that that's going to make it a much more convenient uh, way to come and see and test drive the Wingham models. And then in addition to our franchise boutique dealership locations, 
We are also going to have Wingham's on display at high-end retail malls across the U.S. And we're very excited about this because we think this will help elevate the experience and provide a, a really wonderful way to view our models. Because, you know, who doesn't like going to a nice mall? You can see the models, have lunch, do some shopping. And, of course, they also are located in the city center, so they're very convenient to get to. That is super cool. Yeah. As you're kind of describing that, Tony, it, it just, what comes to mind is a Tesla store that are in malls, <laughs> Apple stores are in malls. It, they're there to educate, to inspire a little bit, aspirational, place your order. And it's kind of a very different experience than running into a Walmart. Yeah, so that's, that's right. And, and you know, uh, our displays in, in the retail malls will be similar to Tesla, Tesla's displays. And uh, when you mentioned Apple, uh, I, I, I have to springboard off of that and let everybody know that, you know, our inspiration for our boutique uh, stylish franchise locations was the Apple store. So, you know, we're really trying to elevate the experience for our customers. It's super cool. And I think, yeah, um, cool. correct me if I'm wrong, um, Tony, that the, it's kind of a made to order RV, right. right? So can you talk through that a little bit for us? That's right. And, and, and again, this is us just trying to uh, exceed our customers' expectations. And that is, a Wingham's made to order program. So this is our way to ensure that every customer gets the exact motor home that they want. So they'll complete a purchase order. They're gonna specify the exact interior options, the exact exterior options that they want. Then the motor home is made in Italy at Wingham's factory in Verona and shipped to the franchise dealership location that is closest to that customer where they'll pick it up. That is super great. It's it's so impressive. It's just, it's you know you're really doing something very different here, and I applaud you for that. Again, good great things take time, and um, people yeah. are, are are patient. I'm I'm super excited. Uh, Lorena, you. anything Thank to you. yeah? So congratulations, Tony and, and Lorena and, and Mike and the whole team. Um, anything to add, Lorena, before we uh, ask you to do do the uh, special surprise? Yes, we uh, we can uh, go for a special surprise. I'm happy and. Um, uh, I have the privilege to show you the next next models coming to us. Let's go. This so, is so let's great. Go. Well, and, and Lorena, um, yes, while you're walking me. over to the models, I'll just let everyone know this is the 610 and the 690. Right. And I know we have a lot of customers at, in the U.S. who are asking when to expect the six series models, the 610 and 690, to come to the U.S. So can you let everybody know? Yes, of course, yes. We are starting with the OAZ 540. So in 2025, we'll deliver just the OAZ 540. And then in the meantime, we'll prepare the next models, so OAZ 610 and OAZ 690. So we'll be able to deliver them in 2026. Thank you. Perfect. So let's go. And I just want to remind folks that the, the, the 540 on a Ram Promaster gasoline only is 17 feet, seven inches, which is the size about of a Honda Odyssey minivan. So what we're yeah. going to see, Lorena, what are the, what's the length of these vehicles? It is six meters, 10 and six meters, 90. So which then translates Tony, to, can you help uh, me with the... Uh, of course. You just meant in, 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 in the U.S., please. <laughs> My pleasure. The <laughs> Wingham Oasis 610 is 20 feet long, and the Wingham Oasis 690 is 22 feet long. And for okay. comparison, ladies and gentlemen, my Winnebago Travada that I'm sitting in is 22 feet long. And what you're going to see is going to blow your mind, because I'm looking at mine, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get this. This is the... <laughs> this is the Oasis 610. This is the most popular in, in, in Europe because of the garage at the back, because of the dimension and the garage at the back, because uh, as, as usual, we made the most of the space outside and inside and uh, on a, a compact vehicle as well, because it is a, a, a compact vehicle anyway in Europe as well. We have our drop down bed at the front, so a double bed a single bed at the back over the garage and this huge garage where you can store your bicycle or uh, all stuff's customers and taking with them. And inside, inside anyway, a lot of space as usual. The dinette, our drop down bed 
as usual. And then uh, the uh, cabinets and drawers all over the kitchen. And then uh, the uh, toilet, which is impressive with, with a separate shower. Wow, that's cool. Inside, anyway, a comfort vehicle. And then, right, and then uh, at the back, again, the possibility to access the, uh, the garage from inside the uh, living room. And wardrobe and uh, drawers again. Right. So the bed is. is can you have Stefan? Yeah. Have Stefan um, show us the bedroom there, Lorena, please. The, the bed, the bed at the back. Yeah, right. Just yeah, yeah just to show us the bedroom. Yeah. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. So you're sleeping east west. <laughs> right. It's beautiful. And I also want to point out, Lorena, the um the separate shower in the bathroom is highly yeah. unusual in a vehicle of this size. Normally they have a yes, white bathroom. Absolutely absolutely unusual. Yes. Yeah, it's and, super yeah, unusual. We we are using every single square centimeters or inch inch square <laughs> yes because um we um we are producing anyway um compact vehicles since 1977 so um the use of each square centimeters is a must in wingham yeah what nice job yeah it's just breathtaking i love the orange by the way <laughs> okay <laughs> My favorite uh, color yes and then uh, same size, so uh, OASI 610 again, so the same size, same length, six, six, six meters 10, but a completely different layout inside. Uh, this is the version with the uh, French bed, French double bed at the back. Oh, Lorena, could you show the garage? Yes, could... yes. oh, sorry. Uh, the garage of the 610, you mean? No, that one. Yeah, uh, that, that garage one. as well. Yeah, yeah the... this this locker. Okay. Yeah, locker. Yeah, it is underneath the French bed. Look at that huge that one. Unbelievable. Yeah. So now, when they see the different bed, they'll see how it's the the storage locker is configured a little bit differently. Yeah. Accessible from the inside and outside. Yes, of course. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Great place to put your pets or unruly uh, kids. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Here's a timeout. Enjoy this. And then, yes, inside, yes, as I said, a different layout with this double French bed at the back. Very comfortable. So, so Lorena, the, the 610 models come in three different floor plans. Is that correct? Yes, right. Yes. So, um, the OASI 610, the first one we saw. Um, can be delivered uh, with the uh, kitchen block at the other side of the row of the um, of the entry door, and so this is this would be the Oasis 610 GL. So then Oasis 610 ST, the one we saw, and this one, which is the Oasis 610 M, with this huge restroom as well, separate shower, large sink. Right. So beautiful. And again, this is only 20 feet long. Okay. Yes, same size. Yes, the same size. And then the uh, dinette at the front and uh, fold down, folding bed as usual. So again, so to this, put this in perspective, it's two feet shorter than my Travato. It's stunning. So this one is, so this three Oasis 610 and then our uh, brand new Oasis 690G. We, uh, um, it is brand new, this model, and we uh, pre presented it at the last Dusseldorf, sh uh, Dusseldorf show in Germany. And uh, I'm very proud of this because we, um, this is, I would say, the next level by Wingham. Um, very precious vehicle, 6 meter 90 in this case with the super garage at the back. 
wow. where you can store the bicycle, bike rack, um, and scooter as well. And so, Scott, this is the same size as your Winnebago Travato. Uh, okay. Mine does not have that. I can tell you. Yeah, but this is the same length. This is 22 same, feet. 22 and your feet. Winnebago Travato is 22 feet. Yep. And yep. in this garage, as you see, we have many um, storage areas. So everything's got his place. And we have the place for the second cassette, which is this one, this suit perfectly. Then we have uh, a water outlet, so you can uh, uh, have a shower outside the vehicle. And then inside, we also have the, uh, um, in the uh, 120 volt um, outlet to recharge the e-bikes. I just want to reiterate one thing. I see a question. Um, yeah. Yes, the the 610 and the 690 models that we're showing right now will be coming to the U.S. in 2026. Right, yes. Then inside this oh, be beautiful, gorgeous Oasis wow. 690. Uh, um, it is, yes, as I said, the last project. Lot of covered surface, flash fitting, sink, huge cupboards. You know, Lorena, one of my favorite things about the Wingham interiors is how everything is rounded. It feels yes. like you're inside of an expensive yacht. Right. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is an extension because in this kitchen we don't have. Uh, working surface, so we have this extension, and when it is fitted, you can still access the rear bed. At the back, we have this huge double bed, two meters uh, long and one meter forty wide. Um, I can and I cannot translate it in. <laughs> that's okay, Lorena. A and, quick question for you, Lorena: Can you talk about the two different six hundred and ninety models and how yes. the, the beds in the back are different? Yes, right. The uh, two six ninety. This this one is the newest. So this one, and in this case, uh, the uh, uh, double bed at the back is a transverse transversal uh, double bed with a lot of space, a, a great uh, cupboard, and. Uh, Stefano, the, uh, can you get in there a little closer so we can see the bed? Yes. Let's see. Wow. I mean, that looks like a, that looks like a yacht to me, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> With a skylight above. It's incredible. Yes. Roof window. I love okay. that word. Il, 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 lo blanc sopra. And that I, I, I'm going to just address one question too. I've seen a couple people mention it. Uh, yes, the Wingham is RVI certification, so it will qualify for RV financing in the U.S. Yeah. Well said. Yeah, so goes. Yeah. And then in this case, we, you can also mechanism at the back so this is the position of the backrest when you are sleeping but this one is a position when you want to read or you want to talk in the evening or watch tv or whatever and then in this case we have a special refrigerator this is a, a big refrigerator in this case that you can open from both sides, actually, from the from the bed and from the kitchen as well. That's cool. And then, <laughs> and then, uh, Lorena, just real quick before you go into the bathroom, can you Sorry? explain in the uh, six ninety twin how the beds are different? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, Tony. Um, yes, at the back, in that case, we have two. Um, single bed in the land so you can climb out and out uh, without disturbing the partner in this case because they are longitudinal uh, bed and they are huge and uh, you can even though you can even um, connect the two beds and make and convert the two beds in a, sing a double bed which is two meters per two meters in that case a very large one Down the restroom. 
with separate shower, very wow. precious taps and yes, everything. <laughs> I think that bathroom is larger than many bathrooms you'll get in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like a W hotel room. Yeah, I just like and, and more stylish and luxurious. <laughs> Look at that. It's oh incredible. Can we fast forward to 2026, please? <laughs> we're working on it, Scott. We're working on it. I know, damn. Okay. <laughs> I need a new no, van. No. Yes. It's so As beautiful. Yeah. Wardrobe, drawers underneath. And then uh, at the front, of course, the uh, drop down bed. And while Lorraine is pulling down the drop down bed, I'm going to answer another question. Customers are asking if we're taking reservations for the 610 and the 690. Uh, yes, we are. Look at that. Yes, as usual, you can, as, as we said, we can bid in all beddings over there. It is always ready. Just pull down and, and climb up. And again, just to remind people, you're looking at an extraordinarily designed vehicle that's the same size as my provider. <laughs> feet. It's just breathtaking. Um, Thank you. Now they're a little wider, Thank you so but much. it's just, it's just, it's, I'm, my, I'm, we already saw this, Tony, right? Earlier this week. I'm still, I'm, I'm it's, blown away. It's unbelievable. <laughs> you're you're going to, you have a tiger by the Thank tail you. here. This and is so great. I'm going to mention one thing as we're sort of uh, getting ready to yeah. um, uh, wrap, wrap this up is we are so grateful for everybody watching at home. We cannot tell you how much we appreciate your interest, your questions, your enthusiasm. Uh, yeah. We're seeing a lot of questions that unfortunately we won't have time to get to. Scott, can you pull up on the screen our phone number and email? Yes. Please uh, call me, email me. Um, if you want to email me and schedule a time to talk, you can do that as well. We're at your disposal, disposal, and we want nothing more than to answer your questions and accommodate your needs. So uh, please reach out to me uh, anytime, and we'll, we'll connect. I just also want to reiterate, Tony, the best thing to do is plan a trip to Tampa, Florida. Of course. Of course. <laughs> and of see course. him in person, meet Lorena. Yeah. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, it's going to be great. And if you're a reservation holder, Tony, they, they get that special VIP dinner the night before, right? That's right. It's going to be yes. extremely exciting. Food, right. drinks, Lorraine and her team, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. What more could you ask for? <laughs> it's incredible. Well, again, it's just been an honor. Thank, thank you, you Lorena, for, for thank showing you, Scott. Their Thank you very you, much. You're time. welcome. Uh, you've been all working so very, very hard. Uh, any final thoughts, Tony and uh, Lorena, before we wrap up and call it? Uh, um, um excited and keen to meet the US, US customer. Um, so I will be pleased to be there at the Tampa show. I've never been there. So it's a brand new experience to me, but I'm, I'm very excited and I can't wait to, to meet the customers because it is very important to talk to customers and understand actually what they appreciate, what they, what they, do, not, what they do not appreciate at the same. So while well, uh, this is very important to me, for, uh, to us, very important to understand uh, what customers uh, think and need and are asking for. So there's nothing better than uh, um, uh, a show uh, to meet customers. I'm, I'm, I'm a, a, a show, show tier, actually, because I, I love shows. It is the, a super experience for, for, for us, um, uh, as I said, to understand the customers' needs. That's so awesome. Thank you so oh, much, Lorena, for saying yeah. that. And Scott, if I can end, I want to thank you for putting all of this course, together. Yeah. We greatly appreciate your enthusiasm for Wingham and taking the time to do this. Well, God oh, love you. It's... Wait, well, wait for you, Scott, in Verona as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming soon. Next, coming next soon. time, to, to, to Tony, because to, Tony is arranging for a visit. So maybe you can you can join us. I don't know. Yeah, we'll we'll make we'll it happen. We'll, we'll see in, in Tampa for sure. But uh, again, in it's Tampa just for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm so again. Thank you for your trust and partnership over these years. Uh, we've done a number of things, and you guys have been working really and and, and Lorraine the whole team been working really hard. Um, it's obvious. Great things take time, um, but I think you are 
going to have a home run here. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Um, so thank, thank you for you. watching. Um, thank you. Tony and Lorena, stay right there in the studio. Um, okay. Like, uh, just to say uh, thank you, everybody. This is Bye, great. Everybody. Thank you again. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, folks. We'll see you on Bye. Wednesday. We're going to recap this. So uh, hang tight. Thank you.